Hi everyone, welcome to a new series of do-it-yourself videos. In this series of videos we're going to show you how you can fix your bike at home. We're going to show you how you can make your own bike tools, dirt cheap. Plus we're going to answer some of the most commonly asked bike tech questions and all designed to save you money and keep you on your bike. So let's get on with the first episode. I'm in a local bike shop and we've got a bike here. Typical bike where you can't take a chain off. Anyhow, the person wants to know how can you clean your chain, your back cogs and your front chain rings without taking your chain off? How am I going to do it? Well, we finally figured out a way. Here's how to do it. First thing is to grab your spanner and take off the rear wheel. Now we've got to support the chain so you can pedal it without it flopping around everywhere. The simplest and most available tool being a stick. Put a stick on the rear stays with the chain wrapped around it and there you go. Now if you don't want the stick to scratch the paint on your frame you can put the stick in the dropout. You've just got to find the right size stick. Hmm. Nope, not that one. Yep, that one's done it. There you go. Look at that, works lovely. Next suggestion, big screwdriver. Put it in the same place as a stick. Yeah, not too bad. But we want a tool specially made for the purpose. Something we can hang on our tool rack at home. So take yourself to the hardware store, grab yourself a bolt. It's called a cup head bolt. Make sure it's got a square collar on it so that it fits into the rear dropout like this. The collar prevents it from rotating all the way around. I measured the bolt length at 60, but you can go anywhere from 50 to 100 mil. Now grab a nut for that bolt. I'm just grabbing two, one for a spare, and two wide flange washers. Looks like they only come in a packet. Oh well. Well, that turned out the bolt was 69 cents, the washers were 37 cents each, and the nuts were 50 cents each. Total of $2.43 so far. Now you're at home, cut yourself about a foot of common garden hose. Make sure you turn the water off first. Now cut yourself two smaller pieces, about 40 45 millimeters, for that 50 to 60 millimeter bolt. So that's all the bits we need and now we'll put it all together. Jam the nut in one of the hose ends. It needs to be a fairly tight fit. So if the hose is too small, just widen it a bit. I'm choosing a pair of pliers here. To help force it in, put the nut on the end of the bolt and push it into the hose really hard and it'll go in. Take the bolt out and leave the nut in there. Putting it all together now, Put the washer on first near the head end, then the piece of hose without the nut in it, then another washer, and then the piece of hose with the nut in it. And there you have it. So that piece of hose with the nut in it really is only the handle. If you take it off again, you can just use a spanner or you can just makeshift some sort of handle on your own. This is a bit of a plumber's end that fits on quite tight. That's the main thing and there you go, there's a handle there. Here's another sort of handle, end of an electrical plug with the nut in it. Yep, that works fine, there's another sort. Right, let's put it on. Put the head of the bolt on the outside of the dropout, the big washer and the rest of it on the inside. Do it up nice and tight and there you go, you now have your dummy axle. So your dummy axle now allows the chain to glide over easily and the chain rolls freely so you can now clean and lubricate it. So now we'll clean your front chain rings and we'll just get an old plastic tray and put that below your bottom bracket so the chemicals drip into that. Drop the chain off onto the inside on the bottom bracket shell and that allows your cranks to spin freely. Have a close up of the chain rings here. There you can see the gunk combination of oil and road grime there bit of uh, rag cotton caught up in the well in the teeth of the chain rings so we're going to clean all that out now. Here I'm using a cheap degreaser from the motor shop. Just spray it all onto the chain rings, the three chain rings. Try not to get it near the bearings on your bottom bracket 
and don't forget to do the inside just the same. Spray below the bottom bracket area, you'll be safe. Or if you haven't got degreaser in a spray can, you can just paint it on with a paintbrush. And this is a must for cleaning a bike, a thin, hard nylon bristled brush. Push it onto the chainring teeth and turn the cranks. Do about five revolutions of your cranks for each chainring and that should do it. Spray bottle of water, spray it on, washes all the gunk off into the drip tray. Again, try and spray away from your bottom bracket bearings. Usually keep it below the bottom bracket axle level and it just drips downwards. And do the same on the other side, on the inside of your cranks. And if that's clean enough, good. If not, like this chain set, you can repeat the process again. You can also use a hose to wash off the degreaser. Just be careful again not to get the water into your bearings. But I prefer a spray bottle. It's just a little bit more accurate. So here's the final spray with water. As you can see, the chain rings are nice and clean now. Right, pop your chain back on the chain rings and we're ready for the next step. To clean your chain, it's a simple tool you can make. Get two old toothbrushes. Using the remainder of the garden hose you've cut up. And you also need a small piece of 19mm poly. With your garden hose, cut around about a 65mm piece, doesn't have to be exactly. And do the same with a 19mm poly. You only need a small bit. So, these should be the pieces that you now have. Now put the heads of the toothbrushes toward each other evenly and press them in together. And at the handle end, slide on that 19mm piece of poly first, like that. And then the piece of hose afterwards. It'll be a lot harder to get on if the toothbrushes are adult toothbrushes. If you do have trouble getting the garden hose on, just use some warm soapy water and the hose will slide on. You don't have to do this step, it's real handy. Drill a hole through the handle, small hole, and then thread a curtain ring through and then you can hang it up on your tool rack. But don't hang it up yet, we've got to clean your chain. If your chain's really dirty, use a drip tray. If your chain's fairly clean, you'll get away without it. So spray on degreaser again, all on your chain, along the whole length, and both sides. And of course your dummy axle is still in the back there. As you can see, sliding the black poly up and down with your thumb open and closes the brushes together. So clamping the brushes together on the chain, you can clean the top and the bottom part of the links and also you can clean along the faces of the links. The best way I find is to clamp the brushes on the chain, pedal in one direction and then after a while pedal back in the other direction. Changing the brush over to do the top and the bottom part of the links again. Again with a water bottle sprayer, now spray the chain. Or again you can use the garden hose. And don't forget, do the other side as well. Degreaser does a good job of stripping oils out of your chain, so re-lube your chain liberally. And it's always better to apply too much than too little. After you've put enough lubricant on, Keep pedalling the chain around, as this will help get the lubricant into the rollers and pins of your chain. Your chain should now feel smooth and sound quiet. So grab a rag, clean rag, grab it on with your hand onto the chain and spin the cranks again. And this will just take away all the excess lube from off the chain. These jockey wheels are neglected, in need of a good clean. There's bits of string and oil and dirt all caked up on them. If your jockey wheels are this bad, they're easier cleaned when they're removed from the rear derailleur. There we go, jockey wheel doesn't look too bad after all. But it was all that string, that would have taken ages to get off if I left a jockey wheel on the rear derailleur. To clean the jockey wheel while it's on the derailleur, spin the jockey wheel onto a flat head screwdriver. There we go, removes most of the junk. And don't forget, do the other side as well. And you can finish them off with a bit of degreaser on the rag. 
Cleaning the rear cogs is fairly easy. Get a clean rag, fold it in half and spray some degreaser on the fold. Place the fold between two cogs and move it back and forth like this. And you move up to the next set of cogs and so forth until you've done them all. And don't forget to clean behind the first cog and on top of the last cog there. All done. Another way to clean the cogs is lean your wheel downwards on an angle and spray the cogs with degreaser. And using that same narrow stiff bristled brush give each cog a scrub. Now use that spray bottle to spray the degreaser off or you can use a hose but always remember keep your wheel at an angle so the waste runs away from the bearings. Back to the bike and take the dummy axle out and put your back wheel back in. And there you go, you're all done. Nice clean chain rings and you have a nice clean chain which goes around nice clean jockey wheels and wraps around nice clean cogs. Don't forget to wash out your brushes and your drip tray and hang them up to dry. So the dummy axle and the chain brush tool will work with any bike, even more expensive bikes.